The reason the oceans are becoming more acidic is because the uh, CO2 concentration in the atmosphere is increasing. And the ocean acts like the lungs of the Earth. Um, there's actually a lot of exchange of gas across the surface of the ocean, just like there is across the surface of your lungs with the atmosphere. And in the case of the ocean acidification, it's the increasing quantity of CO2 in the atmosphere that gets dissolved into the ocean, right through the surface, that is then transformed into a uh, carbonic acid, and it's that acid, the increased frequency of acid uh, in the uh, ocean that is increasing, uh, lowering the pH and causing it to be more acidic. The oceans probably were acidic in the past back in eras when there was also a very high CO2 content, although we're still learning about um, how the oceans were changed by previous atmospheres of the Earth. Um, so uh, I think uh, we, there, is, there is a lot we can learn by looking at the past, but it's not always a good prediction of the future. So there's a lot of uncertainty as to what the new increases in CO2 will bring and, and the fact that the CO2 levels that we uh, are experiencing now or will in the coming decades are in a realm that's higher than in any time in Earth's recent history. So we're actually entering into a new era uh, that we don't know the outcome of. We're already seeing impacts on individual species. Uh, a lot of the work that NSF has funded has been focused on determining the primary impacts of, a, of levels of pH that uh, reflect historical levels, plus what we expect to see in the future. And those kinds of experiments have demonstrated that uh, the animals that build calcareous skeletons, uh, shellfish, uh, many of the plankton that are the uh, food resource of the sea, um, are experiencing or will in the near future experience difficulties in building their shells. And it's especially true of the larval stages when, uh, let's say, a young clam is just beginning to build its first shell. Uh, in a low, in a higher, uh, uh, higher acidic, a lower pH ocean, building that shell is much more difficult for those larvae. Um, and now on a global scale, that's the kind of projects that we're beginning to focus on now, ones that are looking at not just the immediate impacts on individual species, but are looking at the impacts on systems and understanding what impacts that'll have on, and throughout the world's oceans.